Is she gonna be an enemy? Is she gonna be hostile? Because I see there's an enemy in there. There's no enemy in here. I don't know where that... Alright. I'm just gonna make a hard save right here to be safe. Greetings. I am Adora de Reni, former sorceress to the court of Daggerfall. Former lover of the King of Daggerfall, from what I hear. Lady Medora, I have been looking for you. The Emperor has asked me to investigate. I have an interest in helping you in your aim to exercise the spirit of King Lysandis, but I can do little in my present circumstances. If you would pay a visit to a certain other sorceress, I can lift the curse under any tower. Will you do this for me? Uh, of course. What do I need to do? I will be in your debt. Nulfaga, the mother of my former Lord Lysandis, is a renowned mystic. But I have heard whispers that the loss of her son has turned her mad with grief. A little bit. If this is not true, she can and will help me. I need a certain rare item. The horn of a great unicorn used to break the curse under any tower. If Nulfaga is indeed mad, you must search her castle for this horn yourself and bring it back to me. I will expect you back soon. Oh! Scroll of Teleportation! Oh, that's a cat right here. See, it's stealing if I take the dagger. Or the tome, or the water. Religious item, eh. Spell tome of stamina, yes. Okay. So this is a scroll that will teleport me back to her? Like, directly back to her? Oh. Teleport to the location previously determined by the spell mark. Okay. And let me just make sure that I have the key to get out of here, too. No, I only have the key to her cell? Does that mean I not have... Do I not have the key to unlock that little thing that gets me out back into the cell? Or that brings me out of the dungeon back into the ground floor? Oh, I need the key. Mm -hmm. Unless it automatically unlocks because I made it through here. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out right now. We're about to find out. It's a good thing I made that hard save then, just in case all of this gets messed up. Let's find out. Wait, no. But... I feel like I should mark here. I feel like I should mark here because getting here is harder than getting out of here, I feel. Right? Does that make sense to you, Cat? Sure, yeah. Let's... Let's mark here. I have that hard save in case this all turns out to be a terrible, terrible idea. I'll see you in a bit, I guess. Or I'll see you in ten hours, because it's gonna take me ten hours to navigate my way out of here. So here's the problem that I'm running into. So I don't have the key, and I went back and I checked, there was no key on her, or there was no key in her room, and I didn't find a key on any enemy that I've killed or searched so far. And I've just been wandering around here trying to find anything. I haven't seen any teleportation door, and that's my problem with the teleportation doors not being two ways is the fact that I'll use a teleportation door and then I don't know how to get back to where I was. Because if you look closely, and it probably might not come across that well, but this whole section right here is cut off from the rest of the tower or the rest of the dungeon. If I go here, 
it's not a doorway that leads me through, unfortunately. So right now, I'm stuck. The only way that I would have had to get out of here right now is if I had done Mark when I was in Dureni Tower itself. Not the dungeon, but in the tower. But then that would not have solved the issue of when I was trying to get out, because I would have wanted to Mark in... Uh, Medora's room, because, my god, Medora's room was very far away from everything else. So maybe I just missed the teleportation door, but I've been combing this place, and right now I have not found my way out yet. What? What did that do? What? Wait, what? What is this doing? What am I... It's giving me a buff? What buff is it giving me? Oh, it lets me levitate for a minute? Oh, wait, does it? Oh god, oh, I'm falling. Oh, I fell in the water. Oh, and all these require keys too? Why am I even down here then? Oh god, oh, I don't want, I don't want to fight you. I can't take my weapons out because I didn't have my weapons out when I fell in the water. <laughs> Did it give me levitate, or did it give me slow fall? Because I'm not levitating right now. Like, I can jump up, but it's not letting me stay in the air. So I can't really do much right now. Oh, I can't take my weapon out either. Oh, I might be screwed here. I might be completely screwed. Wait, here we go. There's a lever. Now what? I need a way out of here. I desperately need a way out of here. What if I do this? Potion of water walking. Oh, there's a platform here now? Okay. And now if I use Levitate, I can get out of here. Because I have the spell. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep it equipped. So what I'm gonna do is... Oh, I can't go under the water now because I'm... I have water walking on. So once that runs out, then I can get back in the water. Let me kill this slaughterfish in the meantime. Get back here, slaughterfish. I see you. Get back here. I'll kill you. I'll kill you and your family. Almost. Almost dead. Come on. Where are you hiding? Teach me your fishy secrets. I also don't know if this block was here before. I don't know if they put it here so that I could levitate out or what, but... I guess we'll see. Let me see if I can kill that Lamia. Maybe there's something else in this room. I don't know. Drowning. I'm drowning. Oh, I don't want to drown. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, that's my own fault. That is my bad. So after wandering aimlessly for a long, long time, I am sorry to say that I just used... TCL to get back to this area because I could not find a teleportation door. It's very possible that I just missed something but the reason I would have missed something is because of how absolutely massive this place is.
I think what could have benefited, uh, what could have benefited this is if she had given you a teleportation scroll to teleport you specifically to Sherungit, to Nulfago, or to Nulfaga. Nulfaga. And then you would also be able to mark and recall back to her room specifically. I think that could have been a really good way to handle it. Also, I feel... I, I feel like I need to clarify, when I'm critical about something in the mod, it's less so about the mod, and it's almost more so about Daggerfall. Because I know the mod is just trying to recreate the exact way that Daggerfall is. And that's why I'm saying it's like, it highlights the fact that things have changed a lot in the past 20-ish years of gaming, and everything like that. It's the thing that things have changed, things have improved, and I think this mod kind of highlights that in some ways. It shows like, man, here are some of the nice things about Skyrim, but also here are some of the things that we've learned uh, since Daggerfall. <laughs> Welcome back to Shedungit, featuring Nulfaga, the sometimes crazy, sometimes helpful mage. But it sounds like she's going to be crazy and not helpful today, so even if we go and talk to her, she's probably not going to tell us anything about the Unicorn Horn. Which is unfortunately, just very unfortunate for us. Oh, is this locked again? Hello? Command me, and entry shall be yours. Can I tell it shut up this time? Shut up. You are worthy. There we go. Now, I'm going to try and talk to her. It's probably not going to lead to anything because the marker isn't even pointing to her. But it's, you know, it's worth a shot. What if she just says, oh yes, dear, here it is, enjoy. Oh, I'm eating my bread. My son. Never mind. <laughs> well, I tried. Okay, it looks like it's in an area that I have explored, so... That doesn't seem too terrible then. Right? I guess we'll find out. So I'm hoping that because I've been through this before, that it's going to be easier. It looks like a lot of the dungeons reset. Like, doors have relocked, enemies have respawned. I don't know if loot will have respawned, but... It seems like a lot of it has reset. I'm okay with that. I wonder if this is going to be significantly easier, because this was something that I did... You know, at what? Maybe level 3, level 4, level 5. I killed that imp in one hit. With almost no stamina left either, so... Oh yeah, okay. This is gonna be easy mode now. I'm totally fine with this. Okay, so loot has not reinstanced, but you know what? That's fine. That's completely fair. Oh, what is that? Wait, this thing was not here before. Well, I guess we have new enemies too. Oh, whoa! Oh, he nearly murdered me. Where are you going? Come back here. Black Soul Gem, Iron Fittings. Alright, I'll take all of that. But I was not expecting that at all. That was not there before. Let's not go down there. That's going to be a terrible idea. I'm just trying to figure out where I am. I'm just trying to figure out where I am, where I'm going, what's going on. Like, this isn't going to be as simple as I thought, I don't think. It usually isn't. Ah, uh, let me backtrack. Let me double check that real quick because I don't know how else I'm going to get to that area. Uh, yeah. Let me just look around real quick. Okay, so I, I kind of see where I have to go. This is in a room, or it's on a 
section that is above where I am now. So, if I just kind of like trace this, this goes... Well, my level goes through here. And... Wow, how do I get up there? Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost again. Wait, no, it looks like this way kind of goes there, because if you look... Yes, this goes up, and this is gonna allow me to curve around into where that is. I'm gonna become an expert at reading the local map. Oh, there's another iron golem. God damn it. I was not prepared for this. You stay on your side of the room. You stay there. That's right, stay right there, and... Shrink it in, Gollum! You know, he's a little bit cute when he's tiny. Not very cute, but a little cute. Much more tolerable, at least. Yeah, I think this is the right way. And the beauty of this is, once I get this, I can just use Recall to get right back to where I need to be. Ooh, no! Oh, no. Oh, I have a potion of Resist Fire. Boom. Wait, 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 I have an idea. Tiny Fire got- Oh, God, oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Do I have a potion of Magicka? Yeah, I do. Is that a Daedric Mace? That is absolutely a Daedric Mace. Oh god. Oh god, this hurts. This burns. And this is with resist fire. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep, alright. I was being greedy. I, I was greedy. I thought I could get him. It's my fault. I see the fire golem up there. I'm gonna use fire resist again. And I am going to just be ready to shrink. Shrink, alright. And I have full, or I had full stamina going into the fight, which was smart. I'm not gonna use power attacks, I'm just going to use it for shield bashes and the like. And then I immediately use it for, uh... I immediately use it for a power attack because I was getting greedy. And I realized I was getting greedy. I know that I shouldn't. You can't afford to. And I know it. And I should be fighting smarter. But what can I say? Daedric Mesa, fire! Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Get out of here, old Daedric Axe. M Mace, you know what I mean? Friendship added, or friendship ended with Daedric Mace. Daedric Mace of Fire is my new friend now. Yeah, they definitely added different enemies. Or they they had these enemies ready to go for when you came back. You could have very easily explored this area back when you first came here. But they had these tougher enemies ready to go. Specifically for when you came back to get the Unicorn Horn. Or at least that's how I'm thinking about it. Because that makes sense to me. Ah, oh, no! Not the dead ends! Oh, they got me again. Oh, those dead ends. They're calling again. Now we have a Frost Golem. Because there were four different doorways or uh, pathways in that room, so we're just going to have to go through all of them. Or we have to check another of them.
Man, it's weird that the uh, Ice Golem is bleeding, huh? That's magic for you. That was pretty easy. That, compared to the Fire Golem, was pretty damn easy. Can I fight more of those? Oh, well, god damn it. A flesh Atronach now? Where's my resist flesh? Where's my resist flesh potion, huh? Because I could use that right about now. Oh! Oh, did you see that? His little magical effect went away when I shrunk him. That's kind of cool. Now you can see him a little bit better. This is probably going to be the wrong way, though. Yeah, this is leading... Oh, this just led me in a circle? No! This is not good. Where do I go, then? This is the trolliest mod I have ever played. And I don't think it's intentional. But it, it trolls me so hard. Oh, where do I go? Now I am just... Wait. Oh, we did it. Oh, I can't believe... I can't believe that worked. I am so very happy with myself in this moment. Oh no, oh no, oh what is that? Okay, I didn't know if it was going to be called a gargoyle or if it was going to be called something else. That was my question. If it was going to be a gargoyle or going to be using a different name. Wait, 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 almost dead. Yeah. Oh, great unicorn horn come to Tolan the Wise. And they treat this as a separate dungeon slash separate instance, so they give me another chest, which is very nice of them, frankly. Alright, none of these really sell for that much, so I'm not going to bother taking them. Is there going to be a teleport door behind here? Which I don't need a teleport door, because I can just... Recall to, uh, my lady friend, the mistress. Yeah, no. Okay. The unfortunate thing of that about that is, me recalling there still doesn't solve the issue of I can't find a way out of there, unless she gives me the key. I really, really hope she gives me the key when we go back. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be very, very upset with myself and everything. Because there are ways to get out of there, it's just the thing of... I wanted to use the recall to get back there, because I just did not want to go through that dungeon again. The dungeons are big, and... For me, I liked it at first, but now it's getting to the point where they're a little... too big sometimes. How's that bread treating you? Mm. I have the unicorn horn. You have succeeded in a most dangerous enterprise. But many more such trials await you. By bringing the horn to me, you have helped me lift the curse the Queen Dowager placed on my tower. I hope I can count on you for further aid. For now, take this ring of magic abatement as your reward. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Another note mysteriously appears in my pocket. Well, they say the third time's the charm. I like it because I feel like the mod author is even saying, alright, this doesn't make sense. So I appreciate that. Like, the mod author stuck to Daggerfall. They stuck to remaking Daggerfall, but they also recognized that some of it didn't make sense. Like, who fought through here? Who fought all the way through here to get to me? I don't know if she gave me a key. She did not give me a key. Did the note give me a key, maybe? Huh? Maybe? Letter from a friend, too. Dear Tolan the Wise, Queen Akarithi of Sentinel spoke highly of you as a brave, able, and unprejudiced Breton. Her actual words were, A hero. For some time we have been looking for someone like that. I will not lie to you about our loyalties. We serve the Underking. If you are a believer in fairy tales and consider the Underking the ultimate force of evil, we apologize for misjudging you. Otherwise, we need your help. 
you can find me at the Resolution of Xenathar here in Sentinel. Oh, do you think my boss is the ultimate force of evil? Well, you might be right, but, you know, you really shouldn't think that. You really shouldn't say that. God, please tell me that the cellar's gonna be unlocked now. Please, oh please, tell me that it's going to be unlocked. I know it's probably not, but I need it to be, because otherwise I'm gonna have to TCL out of here again. All right, moment of truth. Ah, oh, requires a key. It's very possible it was just on one enemy that I killed and just did not notice. Or, like, did not loot. And I've been okay about looting enemies, but... Oh, God. It could even be an enemy I haven't killed yet. Well. Oh. That didn't work. There we go. I was using God Mode and TCL just to get back to that area because otherwise it was just taking way too long. <laughs> it's like I said, I appreciated the length of the, dun of the dungeons at first, but as time went on, it got to the point where backtracking and stuff, it was the thing of, alright, I, I just want to get out of here. Maybe that makes me impatient, maybe that means I just have a bad attention span sometimes, but... For me, it's the thing of like, alright, there, there's no fun for me in just walking back 10-15 minutes through a dungeon. So now let's see who we have. We have the Ancient Watcher and we have the Lich's Soul. We have Mana Marco and we have the Under King. Oh, the question is who? You know what? We already met Mana Marco. We've met him. So I want to meet the Underking. I want to hear what they have to say about the Underking, what they have to say in defense of the Underking. 